Brian Lewis, New York Post. Welcome back to camp. Uh, curious, this is mainly for Day Day. Uh, when Jacques and, St and Sean, mainly Jacques, was talking the other day, um, he specifically brought you up in relation to the rebounding and saying, hey, we're going to make sure that Dayron gets a chance to play and gets a chance to show what he can do. And he felt you could help in that aspect. Uh, you know, I'm curious, obviously, playing time hasn't maybe been what you would have expected or hoped or wanted in the past in terms of consistency, but what does it do for you and do for your confidence for your coach to be coming out before camp even starts and saying, he's going to make it a point to get you on the floor in meaningful minutes and give you a legitimate run? Um, I think it means a lot. Uh, I think, you know, I've been putting the work in this summer, the last two years, for really. And I think it's uh, showing that they've seen that, um, you know, um, trusting me more coming in. I'll be trying to be more professional this year. Uh, so, at the end of the day, we all know that I get boards. You know, that's what I do. Uh, definitely offensive. Uh, like you said, we got to get a second chance points, and that's my main thing. Uh, so, you know, just whenever I get out there, you know, I'm going to do what I got to do. Evan Barnes, Newsday. Uh, Darren, for you, um, I guess – after last season, I guess, kind of, what was what was kind of like your mindset this this summer a little bit? Was it more just kind of like, you said you get boards, but like, what was your mindset this summer to kind of like be ready to make that impact this year? Um, my mindset been the same since like two years ago, for real. Uh, just Kyle, Kyle Cover here's my first first year. He's told me my main two things like just being in the weight room. My first couple of years has been my main thing, and that's what I've been doing. Uh, just being in the weight room, just running, uh, getting the condition. Stretching, um, recovery, you know, and all that, taking that full force this year, uh, this summer, uh, just being in the gym for real, like working on everything that I can to be better. And Darius, for you, I mean, now that you kind of got settled in Brooklyn, I guess, one, how does it feel kind of like being here? And two, kind of like what excites you about now just going through camp, trying to just, you know, make an impact on this team? Um, it's cool being here. It's busy. Um, but, um, I've just been most excited, like, being around these guys every day, um, being in the gym Monday through Friday, uh, competing against each other, working with each other in the weight room, on the court, uh, off the court, whatever it is. Um, that's what's been the most exciting part, just being around them. And, you know, as we approach the season, it's just like, you know, you get in that mode where it's, it's go time. Uh, Eric Sparopoulos with the Nets. Building off of that, do do both of you have any goals for this season? To win is mine. Same, same thing. Melissa Yang with the Nets. Um, what has the competition been like in practice? Uh, I say it's been competitive. Uh, you know, like Bay said, like we go at each other every day. You know, we in there. But for us in fighting, you know, we done kept the teams the same for like a whole week and a half, you know, because in the, the day we we want to beat each other. And I think that's a good thing too. I think more everybody's like more uh, vocal, you know, um, more aggressive, more like nobody ain't shying away from nothing. We all ready for this season, all ready to attack, and we all we all won. Mm -hmm. And then we we know that you both make music. Have you guys talked about that? Like, who's a better rapper between you two? Nah. Me. Y'all right, need to hear my single. It's called Rain. Supposed to be dropping a music video, too. Dayron, Eric Slater with Clutch Points. Uh, you were in and out of the rotation last season. Was there anything communicated to you from the coaching staff, like areas that they wanted to see you take steps in to earn a consistent role this year? So, uh, like I said, probably just like being more professional, uh, you know, and that's what I've been doing. Peter Splendorio with the New York Daily News. Darius, just uh, what do you, how would you describe kind of what you think your fit with this team is and what kind of has been maybe communicated to you with the team hopes your role to be? Um, I, I think I fit in pretty well, um, especially with the identity we're trying to establish. Um, 
you know, in one of the hardest working teams, a team that's going to play fast, um, you know, and kind of like defensive minded. Um, I think I fit right in with that, um, being able to just get out and transition. Um, you know, that starts on the defensive end. So be able to plug in my length and size um, on the defensive end. And like I said, just get out, play fast, um, be able to complement some of the guys that we have that are on the ball, space out, make shots, um, and just be aggressive on both sides of the floor. Bob Windrum, uh, Mets Daily. Uh, Darius, you played a bit of the five last year. Before that, you played four. You played a little three. What have the Nets told you about what position they want you to play this season? Um, we haven't had conversations like that. Um, past couple of weeks, it's just been, you know, open gym, a um, little bit of like individual skills work, stuff like that. But a lot of it has just been competing against each other. Um, hasn't really gotten too structural yet. This was a just a follow up for Dayron. I know. Uh, I guess it was after your rookie year. Part of it was reshaping your body and such, and working on your physique. But I'm curious now, when you're saying more professional, what does that consist of? I mean, is that film work? Is that skill work? Is that diet? Is that rest? What exactly does that consist of? Um, consistency. Um, that's what I would say. Just being consistent. Uh, like everyday thing, like you know what I'm saying. Like now, after my first year, you know, I said my body, I lost weight, but at the end of the day, I lost weight and had to gain muscle back. So man, this summer I've been gaining muscle, but it's just like being consistently in the gym, man. Like I've been consistently in the gym every day, you know, six days a week, five days a week. You know what I'm saying? Like it's all that's on my mind. It's all I care about for real. So like just being consistent, that's what I've been doing. Thank y'all. Yeah, thank you.